What is up you guys, Gold Pony here today in the 2018 Chevy Impala per your request, courtesy of Apple Chevrolet in York, PA. So as always, let's start with pricing. And so to start, there are several different trim levels for the 2018 Impala. First one is going to be the LS, that is gonna start at $28,770. Then the LT for $31,095. And lastly, the Premier, which is the one I am in today, that is gonna start at $37,295. But so then powering the 2018 Impala, you are gonna have two different engines available. First one is going to be the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder engine, which is gonna come standard with the LS and LT trim levels. But that one is gonna put out 197 horsepower at 60 300 rpm and 191 pound feet of torque available at 4400 rpm and power on either engine setup is going to be sent to the front wheels through a six speed automatic transmission and miles per gallon on that one is going to come in at 22 in the city 30 on the highway using regular unleaded fuel but then there is the other engine setup which actually is the one i have today and that one is going to come standard on the premier trim but optional on the ls and lt trim levels and that option is going to run you around 1100 dollars but power output on that one is going to come in at 300 105 horsepower at 6,800 RPM and 264 pound-feet of torque available at 5,200 RPM. MPGs on that one, 19 in the city, 28 on the highway. But so now I think you guys know what time it is. Let's do a quick little acceleration test here and see how quickly we can get the 3.6 liter here up to speed. Yo. You guys hear that? Chirped a little bit there for me. <laughs> Actually, definitely pulls very hard. Definitely a very nice acceleration and absolutely no issues with merging onto the highway or anything like that, of course. But with that acceleration, of course, braking is equally important. And as expected, the 2018 Impala does come with four wheel anti lock brakes for all trim levels. And let's hit the brakes real quick to test out the braking feel here. Very quick stop, definitely a fan of that. But when it comes to the suspension up front, there is a McPherson strut front suspension in the back, four link rear suspension. Now, the steering feel isn't bad, not the heaviest steering feel in the world, which I prefer, but definitely not bad here. But so more importantly for a car like the Impala, ride quality, when it comes to ride quality, this is definitely on point, definitely a pretty smooth ride. And when it comes to visibility, this is a fairly large sedan. Again, absolutely no issues with visibility. I can see perfectly fine out the back, so definitely working for me there again. And so, but now enough with the driving dynamics, you guys. Let's check out the exterior on the 2018 Impala. And so starting up front, halogen headlamps will come standard on the LS and LT trim levels. And they do come standard with the automatic feature as well, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you. That's definitely nice. And if you go with the premier trim level, you will get HID headlamps as well. That is what you are looking at right now. And LT trim level and up is also going to give you LED daytime running lights up there as well. And before I continue, I do want to mention there are some new colors for 2018 as well including Nightfall Gray Metallic, Graphite Metallic, and Cajun Red Tin Coat, in case you were interested. But then make your way to the sides. There are power adjustable black side mirrors for the LS. If you go with the LT trim level or up, you are going to get heated power adjustable body color side mirrors with integrated turn signals. And if you see chrome door handles around the side, that is going to belong to the premier trim level. And of course, you have that trademark Impala logo near the back of the car there. But when it comes to the wheel setup, you do get 18 inch steel wheels with covers for the LS, 18 inch alloy wheels for the LT, and lastly, 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels if you go with the premier mirror trim again which you are looking at right now and then make your way to the back of this one there is trim level badging back there in case you were interested what trim level you were looking at and just below it all for the four cylinder engine there is a single exhaust outlet and for the v6 you do have dual exhaust outlets so as always you guys here is that exhaust split So now since we are around back, I first did want to mention to open that rear trunk. There actually is a button you simply hold on the key fob there. And that is going to not only unlock it, but open it up for you as well. Definitely nice. And when it comes to cargo capacity, that is going to come in at 18.8 cubic feet. So a ton of room back there. But in case that was not enough, you can fold down those rear seats for even more space if you needed it. And then make our way to the rear legroom. That comes in at 39.8 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Since I am back here, I did want to also mention there is a fold down rear armrest with cup holders and added rear ventilation for those rear passengers back there as well. 
To make your way to the front seats, they do come with an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat for every single trim level with power lumbar, of course. If you go with the Premier trim, you are gonna get a perforated leather finish, which is what you were looking at right now. And that perforated leather finish is also going to add heat and ventilation as well. And then looking forward, there is a tilt and telescoping four-spoke steering wheel. It is leather wrapped for the LT Premier. But then when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Chevy logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock that button to pop the rear hatch and that circular button, that is actually your remote start, which is gonna come standard on the LT trim level and Premier, definitely nice there. But in the end, all trim levels will get the push button start. So simply put your foot on the brake and press that engine start button. And so, but then upon startup, those gauges will do a full sweep. Tachometer is gonna be on your left, speedometer on your right. There is a small digital display on the bottom there and to control what is on that digital display, that is gonna be controlled by using the buttons on the right side of the steering wheel there. But that is gonna give you a bunch of different options, including your digital speedometer, as well as traffic sign recognition technology, letting you know the speed limit of any given road. Definitely nice there. Also, you're gonna have your trip A and trip B as expected, but also how many miles you have left until you hit empty, your average miles per gallon in any given time. Also your oil life remaining, so you know when to get your next oil change. Also included is a tire pressure monitoring system for each individual tire. And there's gonna be some other driving statistics there as well. But so then make your way to overall interior quality, LT trim level and up is gonna give you a leather shift knob as well as dual zone climate control. So both driver and passenger can set their own temperatures. I did also wanna mention ambient lighting is available with an entertainment package for $895. There is also a sunroof and spoiler package available for around $1,300. And I do have to say, I like how the door trim kind of ties in with the dash there. That is definitely nice on both sides. And I do like the design around the shifter as well. A lot of car manufacturers will just leave that as a plain black plastic, but the Impala put a little design to it. So I got to say, I'm liking that. And the one I have today, there is home link for up to three different garage doors on the roof there as well. But now let me make my way to the tech on this one. There is an eight inch color touchscreen display front and center. That is going to include Bluetooth and audio streaming as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay giving you access to free navigation through Google Maps as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs up on that screen. That's definitely convenient, let me tell you. And you also do have the ability to check out traffic information so you know what roads to avoid. And there is a weather icon on the display screen as well so you know what the five day forecast is gonna be. And of course you got your radio settings as well. And by the way, since I mentioned it, when it comes to the sound system, the LS and LS LT is going to give you a six speaker sound system, but the premier one that I have today that is going to give you an 11 speaker Bose surround sound system. So as always, you guys, let's start on the radio, see what's playing today and test out the clarity of this one. Definitely a ton of bass in this sound system and I expected nothing less. I've had Bose sound systems in my cars before, never had a problem. And this one is quite nice, I gotta say. And then the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the Impala in reverse, there is a rear view camera for every single trim level there for you, letting you know who or what is behind you so you don't go running anything or anyone over. Watch, as always, is gonna lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags, also driver and passenger knee airbags up there for a little added protection for you. In the back, there is latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children, along with rear child door locks. There is also a stability track stability control system that comes standard for every single trim level. And then there are some safety packages available. There's a couple different ones for you though. Available safety features are gonna include rear park assist, rear cross traffic alert, lane change alert with side blind zone alert, forward collision alert, and adaptive cruise control. So that's gonna be the cruise control system where it monitors the car in front of you so it slows down when they slow down and vice versa. So definitely a smart cruise control system there. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold. Action. Big old steering wheel. Oh. This one does have a slightly slope. Slightly.